Hey, it's Tom here. Today I want to talk about kayak safety and the equipment that I use. So right here, this is the Eagle Run 12. This is a field and stream product. It's a fishing kayak, not a sea kayak. And let me explain the difference. A fishing kayak is in the category of what they call a rec kayak, recreation kayak. A sea kayak, they're much bigger. They have watertight bulkheads and have a slightly different shape so they can handle the waves better. Sea kayaks are very serious machines that can go distances offshore much further than this. Uh, this is not really designed for that, but a couple of things that I have done um, at least increases the safety. And plus, when I say going out in the ocean, I'm not talking about going out five miles, 10 miles out in the open ocean. You stick close to the islands and the coastline. That That's a... That's a good rule of thumb to have. Now, just want to point out a few things about this. These are the holes here for the fishing rods. I've actually never used them, but this comes with a great little dry storage back here, and it's removable. It comes right out. Uh, I've used this for towels and boots and that kind of thing. Um, safety. So remember how I said on the sea kayaks, they have the bulkheads. Well, you can kind of sort of cheat these do not have the bulkhead so if these swamp the water fills in here and there this can start to sink but these are fantastic they go right in and then you just blow them up and they fill right to the contours of the inside and there's a corresponding one back here so that will give you your positive buoyancy also make sure you have one of these pumps you want to be able to pump the water out of this in case you get swamped. Motorboats, waves, all that kind of thing can fill this up pretty quickly. This will keep you afloat. This will get the water out. Okay, so what other safety things to think about? Right here. This is an extra, extra set of paddles. I slide them in here and they're right in front of my foot pegs, out of sight, out of mind. The reason why? Let me show you. This is my regular paddle. They click together right here. This is the weakest point. They're built pretty strong, but there's always the possibility of it snapping. And let's face it, we don't want to have that happen when we're miles offshore. So having the extra set of paddles, that's your emergency paddle. Uh, it should go without saying. Life jacket, PFD, whatever you want to call it. This is a kayaking one, I highly suggest that. You'll see how it comes in three pieces with straps. This is designed to give you freedom of motion with your arms. You need to have one of these. Don't go out without one. It is a bad habit to not have it. And then finally, this. It's a little thing, but this whistle may be very, very helpful when you're hitting an area that has a lot of boats coming through. And let's face it, uh, motorboats do not require licenses and a lot of people don't really bother with them and are not as skilled as maybe they could be. I don't wanna be down on all motorboaters, but let's face it, if you're out on one of these and you've got a 30 footer coming on you, you wanna be out of the way. Sometimes they don't see you, but they can hear you with that whistle. So there you go, inflatable, bulkheads, extra set of paddles, the whistle, and your life jacket. You need those things, you do those things, you're gonna have a great time on the water, you're gonna be safe, you're not gonna have to worry about things. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you find any of these videos helpful and entertaining, please press like and subscribe. Um, see you next time.